Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe Gersh, owner of Backwoods Pursuit, and today we have an extra special comparison video for you. Uh, we are looking at a couple of ultralight titanium wood-burning stoves here. So if you're in the market for one of the best backpacking ultralight stoves, uh, that's what we're going to dive into, the differences between these two. We've got the Winterwell Fast Fold Titanium and a Seek Outside stove. This is the SXL. Both of them are awesome ultralight titanium wood burning stoves, but they are very different in some of their functionalities in their design and the way they're put together. So we're gonna go over those differences, how fast they are to set up, that sort of thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun here. As always, we really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our website, backwardspursuit.com. Links to all that down in the description for you. Tons of gear reviews over on the website. And also put a link to these two stoves down in the description so you can check them out for yourself if you'd like. But let's dive into this comparison. All right, first up, let's look at some of the size and weight differences between these two stoves. As you can see here, the Seek Outside SXL is a little bit smaller, compact when it's all packed up in its bag here. Winterwell isn't quite as compact, but it, it's kind of in the way that they put this bag together and how everything fits into the bag. When space is at a premium in your backpack, the Seek is nice that way. The weight on the Seek here is 3.8 uh, pounds, according to my scale, and this is everything in here that you need, even a few extra parts in case you lose something. So I've got that at 3.8 pounds, and that's with a six foot pipe on the Seek. The winter well here comes in at four and a half pounds, and that is again with everything you need to set this up, and it comes with an eight foot pipe. So you have a few extra ounces in that eight foot pipe. Now I do really like the way that this winter well bag fits everything in here. This opens up really, really big, and it allows you to lay everything in there really nicely. The stove uh, pipe here, the the stove itself sits in there and is strapped down and, and kept in place, which is really, really nice. I really do like that. Here on the Seek, you've got one zipper across the top and then everything slides in the top. It's not quite as easy to get in and out of and things fit a little bit better in the Winterwell bag than they do the Seek bag, but it works just fine. You got your rods on the top there that strap in, everything else just slides in. And you do have extra sp uh, space and room in here for other things if you wanna add a few things to that. Um, but I do feel like the bag here on the Seek Outside bag is a little bit more durable with the Cordura that they use, um, but they both work really, really well. Uh, so one interesting thing as far as the sizing of these two, uh, these two stoves, the, uh, the Seek Outside here, the SX SXL is 1184 cubic inches. The Winter Well is about 900 cubic inches, but you do have an extra inch in length with the winter well, which is kind of nice when you're gathering firewood. Uh, so I did find that to be helpful as far as the overall size. As far as a few other things that I like to keep in my stove, uh, sometimes I'll take a, a, a saw here. This can, is a bone saw that can also be used as a regular a wood saw. I typically like to take a pair of really lightweight gloves for setting up the stove pipe, you know, just a, a measure to keep yourself from getting your fingers cut. Uh, and if you're putting, especially with the Seek stove, as we'll see here in a minute, it's a lot uh, dirtier to, to take apart and put together. So I like to wear gloves, that way you don't get your hands all black and whatnot. And then a huge thing that I love is these uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft fire plugs. Throw a, a package of these here in whatever bag I'm using, and those are awesome for a fire starter. So just a couple extra pieces I like to throw in my bag. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna put both of these together on the clock so you can see how much time it takes to set each of these up, see what the difference is. Um, this is kind of where the winter well is really gonna shine. You've got a, a much easier unit to set up here than the Seek. Uh, you have a little bit extra weight because of that. So let's pull this out of the bag here and we'll get started on the clock. All right, so there you go, 45 seconds to get the winter well stove set up. No parts, no pieces, you just unfold it, uh, latch these things on really quickly and easily. They just turn like that, and it's all set up, ready to go. Of course, not including the pipe, but that's just the firebox here. So really, really easy and super simple to do. So now let's try the Seek and see how fast we can get the Seek outside SXL set up.
All right, so there you go. That is the Seek Outside SXL of just over three and a half minutes. So more than three times as much time to set this up. And again, ideal conditions here in the garage on a bench and whatnot. And as you probably noticed with this, I found this to, to save a bunch of time in setup here by leaving your rods, uh, basically leave these on at all times and then just, just uh, turn that, that wing nut down on the top once you're, when you're storing it in your bag. So that's gonna save you a whole bunch of time putting the feet in this other wing nut, wing nut on. So that's a little tip there as far as setting up these stoves. So definitely faster to set up the winter well stove by a long stretch. And the nice thing there is you don't have any parts or pieces that you might lose if your hands are cold, if it's snowy and wet and whatnot, those little wing nuts can get lost. I have, I've actually lost uh, one of these feet in the, out in the field before. So I always carry a few extra feet, an extra rod, a couple extra wing nuts, uh, just because, you know, you never know when you're going to, when you're going to lose something like that. And if you do, then it could be kind of a, a pain to not be able to use your stove or not have it work quite as well. So, so that's the difference in setup time. Of course, I did set up the, the roll the pipes on either of them. That's going to be about the same for both. But the big difference being setting up the firebox on these two. And definitely the winner there is going to be the winter well. Now let's talk about some of the distinct differences between these two. First, the way that the uh, stove pipe attaches to the top of the firebox. The winter well has a, a ring here that is spot welded to the top of the firebox and then also has a ring on the interior that tapers down so you put the pipe down in there and it holds that stove pipe in place a lot better than it does with the seek. Um, you also have on the winter well a, a, a spark arrestor slash damper and so you're able to turn that and it, it works really, really well. You can, you can put that on say a 45 degree angle or all the way shut or all the way open and it, there's enough resistance in there, it's not gonna flop back or fall down on you. So that worked really, really well. And what you wanna do is use this in conjunction with the, uh, the spark arrestor that comes with that as well. So this goes on the top of the stove pipe and it keeps those sparks out. It's even smaller and fine mesh to keep sparks from getting on the top of your tent. Similarly to this, you have a, an outer ring and then a tapered ring on the interior. So then you put the stove pipe in there and that also adds the stability of your stove pipe. I really, really like that and I felt like it worked a little bit better. Um, now with the seek outside, you've got a detachable piece, which is really nice because that allows you to collapse this down smaller. This doesn't uh, detach here, so it kind of sticks out in your backpack and protrudes a little bit, which isn't the best when you're packing, but you have to be aware of that. So it is real nice that this detaches. One of the other benefits, as you can see, it's crimped on the bottom there and it just sets down in the top of the firebox. Uh, one of the other benefits here of the Seek is that you've got a damp damper here that is removable. It just slides in there to help you control the airflow. So that works really, really well. The spark arrestor on the Seek here, that only comes with the one and it's down here in this piece. And so you pretty much just are always gonna leave this uh, horizontal because you want that to be taking care of those sparks. Even if you turn it uh, you know, out of 45 or whatnot, it's just gonna fall back down. Not really a big deal because you're always wanting to you know, protect, that, protect the sparks there. Uh, anyways, or keep those sparks from coming out and landing on your tent. One thing I highly recommend is picking up one of these snow caps. Um, this is really going to help in keeping the sparks at bay. This will go on the top of your stove pipe and then any sparks that do make it past the spark rest are here are going to hit the top of this. It's really going to mitigate the potential for you know, sparks putting a hole in the top of your tent. Now with the legs here, the difference on the seek outside here is you have, of course, screw on rods here and those go through the firebox. And then on the, the bottom here, these feet kind of screw in place right there. On the winter well here, it is really nice because they are a fold, foldable type of a leg. And that is that makes it so you can't lose them, of course. And they, they do provide, I felt like a little bit extra stability because you have more surface area here that it is, uh, that is in contact with the ground. So I did like that a lot in the, the way that the winter well just folded. Of course, it's a lot easier to put together as well. Another big design difference here is in the opening. The seek outside here has a door that slides open and it is nice that you can take that door completely out if you'd like to. And the winter well here, you've got a latch system that you pull that up and then that's gonna swing open. It's on a hinge, which is really nice. You're also gonna notice that the, the opening here, even though the winter well is a smaller firebox overall, the opening is a little bit bigger. So it makes it a little easier to get that wood in and out. So I really found that to be useful and something that aids in, you know, and uh, getting that fire stoked even when, when you're trying to you know, put a little bit larger pieces of wood in there. So go ahead and throw that back together. Now another difference you can see pretty easily here is in the ventilation systems. With the seek outside, right here you've got the ventilation system, a little ring here to open or close that, allow the airflow to come from the bottom and go right up to, uh, to the stovepipe there. 
on the winter well here, you've got more centralized and more, uh, more and larger uh, ventilation here. So you can uh, you know, open that or close it to your desired, depending on what you're wanting. And now I did find, I, I thought that the, uh, I, I like the, the placement of the, those here on the, the seek outside a little bit better coming from the bottom, kind of helps those coals stay hot and take it right up to the stove pipe. But they both did an awesome job of really allowing you to get as much heat as you wanted. So one thing you do want to be careful of with the seek though, is not to block those, uh, those airways with, if, you, if you're burning for quite a while, the ash can get built up there. So you want to make sure that stays clear there so you can get the airflow. Otherwise you're going to, it's not going to get the airflow and be as hot as it could be. Now, another one of the differences between these two is obviously, like we talked about, the seek has more parts and pieces to it, which can be a, a, a downfall when you're putting it together out in the field. But the, the good side to that is that if you lose something, if something breaks, you have the different wing nuts and the feet and the, the rods and whatnot, you can just get a replacement part super easy. If it gets damaged or bent or whatnot in your pack, you know, those things can happen. Really easy to repair and fix because all the different pieces are, are things that you can get fixed or repaired or replaced. Now with the winter well, that's not necessarily the case. Things are screwed in, so it's a little more difficult that way. Uh, so that is a downside to the winter well here. Uh, another difference that is kind of cool is uh, with the winter well here, you can go ahead and, and detach the top really super, uh, quickly just by turning the top off, uh, the, the, the little levers on the top there and pull that off. And then you can utilize this as an open flame type of a, a setup if you want to. So if you want to burn just like this and cook over this, or if you're say in a wilderness area that requires you to use some kind of, of fire container to burn it all and you want to, uh, this is an option that way. Of course, check your regulations for that for wilderness areas. But that's kind of a, a, a cool uh, flexibility or cool extra use you can get out of the winter well here with the way that this is designed and its flexibility. The basic designs here, the winter well is designed for convenience. It's easy to set up. It's about three times as fast to set up as the seek outside. Um, it's, even though it's a little bit smaller, it weighs more. The seek outside here is, is built to shave every possible ounce. It's a full pound lighter than the winter well, generally speaking, um, give or take, depending on what other things you put in the bag. Like I mentioned, I put uh, extra screws and extra rods and, and even a few extra little pieces and whatnot. So it came out about a pound difference, but they're built to shave the weight. So a little more slim to pack around, take up less, less space in your backpack as well. That's generally the difference that I found. So if convenience is more of your preference, definitely go with the winter well. If weight is the ultimate thing and packability, a little more compactness is your thing, then definitely go with the seek. That's gonna be more of what you're looking for. I'd love to hear down in the comment section, which one you would prefer, what looks like something that would be better fit for yourself. They're both awesome stoves and they both will save your bacon out in the back country when it is frigid out there. Definitely a hot tent, a stove like this is something you wanna want to pick up if you're going to be doing a lot of hunting in really, really cold weather. So uh, drop a question, comment down in the comment section. Love to help you out. I'll put a link again to both of these down in the description for you so you can check them out for yourself. And again, love to help you and point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching here today. We'll see you next time.